All right, so before you guys start, make sure you click on File, go down to Build Settings, click on Android, and make sure you download the Android packages uh, because you are going to need them. I forgot to mention it in the full tutorial, so I'm throwing this right at the start, but yeah. Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can uh, easily transfer your Regulus to Quest. Um, so basically what you want to do is start a new project and we're going to rename it, um, you know, basically whatever you want. So we'll just name this one Regulus uh, to Quest 2 since I already um, attempted this. But uh, some things did not go as planned. Because I messed up, but that's okay because we're not going to mess up this time. We're going to hit create new project and we're going to let Unity do its thing, uh, let it load, let it unpack, and then I'll show you guys what you have to do from there on out. Um, basically, you want to make sure you also have Unity version 2019.4.31 F1. Uh, all the links for everything will be in the bio of the YouTube video. Basically, once Unity here is loaded, what you want to do is uh, the VRChat SDK3. You want to drag and drop that in, and all of these um, scripts and stuff will pop up, and it's going to show you everything that you need. You're just going to hit import and let it do its thing, have it import, um, and then, you know, everything is going to basically import give it time it takes a couple minutes um, so just let it sit here and do its thing all right basically you'll know when it's done because this little folder will be created called VRC SDK Next, what you want to do is go into Lil Tune, which will also be in the description below, and drag and drop that in as well. And um, this one as well, all of the things, and you're just going to hit import. It's going to sit there and do its thing. Awesome. And finally, what you want to do is drag and drop your Regulus file that you have purchased from Booth and... Um, Again, let it do its thing. All right, from here on out, you're going to open up your Regulus. And if you installed Lil Tune, congrats, your Regulus is actually colored. If you did not install Lil Tune, well, it's going to be purple, but I will show you how to fix that if it's purple. So if your Regulus is purple, basically up here in the shader, you're going to get error. What you want to do is convert that to VRChat mobile and then Tune Lit. Um, and we're going to do that right now as well because we do want to make this quest compatible. So VRChat Mobile Tune Lit and one more time, VRChat Mobile Tune Lit. All right, so now that we have that, we're also going to want to um, go into our textures. And if you know how to use Photoshop um, and customize, you know, your... Uh, colors and stuff then you can also you know change the colors and stuff but for now we're going to simply just upload uh, a regulus to the quest slash PC uh, you want to click on this up here and then click here and drag and drop onto this thing that is how you put a texture into a material um, it's not very common uh, if you're new to unity um, but yeah just drag and drop very easy and you want to do this with everything here boom like that and now if we go back to our regulus our boy he is he's now colored um, so that's step one basically step two is we're gonna drag and drop our regulus into here and once we get him dragged and drop we are going to first of all um, Unity or Quest only allows eight fizz bones, and this has 14. So, unfortunately, we do have to remove some bones, but it's not anything too crazy. So, over here in the hierarchy, after you drag and drop your boy, of course, you want to go over to the armature, uh, open up hips, 
um, lower upper leg and lower right lower leg so pant pocket here this is the fizzbone scripts you want to remove them just get rid of them and um, then pants up as well you want to remove that uh, pants pocket R you want to remove that and upper leg 002 remove that's four and we have to remove two more now it's up to you what you want to remove so the hoodie counts as one and the poncho counts as one and the uh, strings here also each count as one of course we're not gonna mess with the model itself like the hair the ears the tail the face all of that's grabbable but um for this sake we're going to make it so the poncho and hoodie are not grabbable um, it doesn't really change much they're just little things that you can grab and pull uh, fabric wise but it's not as cool as the strings all right so from here on you're going to want to click on spine chest hood click on the hood you don't have to open hood just click on it hit remove component and then poncho back also click on poncho back you don't have to click on the arrow and remove component bam there you go we have re successfully removed as many bones as we needed to you can go ahead if you want to remove the strings um, per se uh, which is just string left and string right very easy fizz bones to remove that's if you want to add other objects and stuff because quest again only allows eight but this is just a basic tutorial um, so what you want to do now is in the VR chat SDK uh, that you dropped you want to hit show controls uh, it's gonna ask you to sign in so of course sign in to your VR chat account and sign in now the builder is gonna uh, pull up here and you want to hit auto fix and um, here we have a unpublished avatar of the Regulus uh, and this is for Windows again we're going to be publishing it to both Windows and Android so first we're gonna publish it to Windows uh, so we're gonna hit build and publish for Windows and let it do its assets and build everything And here we are, we can now name our avatar. So slushy 2.0 is its name and tutorial, because this is a tutorial, the above information is accurate. You can also change the images and stuff, uh, but no one else is gonna use this, it's a private avatar. So it's gonna create that, let it do its thing. All right, now that the upload is complete, just hit OK. It's going to bring you back here. And now what you want to do is you want to close out of the SDK here. Click on File, Build Settings. Go over to Android. And hit Switch Platform. And now it's going to switch everything, all your assets and stuff over. Okay, so now that we're over on Android, we're also going to reopen up the VRChat SDK. And look at that. It's Windows supported, yes, but not on Android because that is because we haven't um, built and published it for Android. So the reason, again, why we had to remove Fizzbones is because 14 is too many. You can only have eight on Quest. So we're just gonna hit build and publish for Android and basically um, you want to wait again a couple minutes depending on how uh, good of a PC you have it should go by pretty quick um, this is gonna come up and it should say update avatar not upload update uh, slushy 2.0 uh, 
it's a tutorial we're gonna hit upload it's gonna create the file record and now it's gonna upload this one might take a bit longer so let it do its thing alright now that it's um updated completed basically this is going to tell you uh, yes or no because it hasn't updated fully and if we go over to our uh, content manager we have my first attempt uh, and the reason why I, I had to redo this is because I got confused because for some reason uh, when you upload um, and publish this does not th these do not update so it confused me but now that we know that it doesn't update basically launch VR chat launch it in non VR mode and um, have VR chat load up you should see in your avatars that slushy 2.0 our newest one here which we'll change into is PC and Quest compatible and it's a Regulus uh, private room and we're going to click on this and look the ears and stuff all uh, move and stuff and look even the uh, the strings as well okay so we should do our chat now and it's in an it oh my stuttering it's initializing the world um, and we are on the quest 2 version of VR chat and um, walk over to the mirror hey look at this it is me I'm in VR chat I am a regulus look the uh, these fizz bones work ah isn't that awesome it's great and look I can grab my hair and my ears and mess around um, so yeah and then we also have our expressions now uh, <laughs> it's not in English but that's okay um, Woo. So anyways, this is it working in VR chat. Whoa, look at this. I'm uh it's working. 